Moving on now, tensions between Israel and Iran have reached an alarming level over the assassination of Iran's top nuclear scientist Mohsin Fakhrizadeh, who was killed last year in November. A new report has emerged on his assassination, which may sound like something straight out of a science fiction action movie. A recent report published by the New York Times suggests that the father of Iran's nuclear program, Mohsin, was killed with an, and I'm quoting here, AI-assisted remote control killing machine designed by Israeli secret agents. The report further explains that the assassin was a skilled sniper who was monitoring his move through a computer screen. This assassin pressed the trigger from an undisclosed location, which was someone, which was somewhere thousands of miles away from the target. But Iran has dismissed this New York Times report, calling it just a newspaper report. Dr. Amir Abdullahian, Farda Azam in New York, was with the participation in the Majma Umumi. Mohsin Fakhrizadeh died last year in November in a roadside ambush after a truck explosion. Iranian officials were quick to blame Israel for the attack, claiming it was carried out using sophisticated electronic devices. I'm quoting here, by the way. His death was seen as a major setback to Iran's nuclear program. However, the reports of artificial intelligence and remote-controlled machine guns are not new. Earlier this year, the Jewish Chronicle had published similar reports on the assassination. The report from world's oldest Jewish newspaper said that Israeli secret intelligence team Mossad had mounted the automated gun at the site. The report also said that the bespoke weapon operated remotely by agents on ground as they observed the target and was so heavy because it included a bomb that destroyed the evidence after the killing. Also, our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Jerusalem. Let's listen in. At the time of Fakhrizadeh's assassination, an anonymous Israeli official reportedly spoke to U.S. media saying the world should thank Israel for the killing of the top Iranian nuclear scientist. However, Israel has not formally claimed responsibility and no statement has been issued after this new report as well. The report names the then Mossad director, Secretary of State, CIA director, U.S. president and Israeli PM as all being in the know and engaged at some level in the plan. With all of them now out of their seats, it remains to be seen if any will choose to react. Meanwhile, analysts believe the assassination did manage to delay Iran's nuclear program by some months, allowing further time for negotiations on potentially returning to the nuclear deal. This is Jody Cohen from Herzliya, Israel, for Weon World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.